timeless silhouette on a classic sneaker is brought back 40 years later. We're taking a look at it today on Sneaker Fetish. I still, I don't, I still don't have an intro yet. Why don't I? What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Today, we're looking at a sneaker that has so much history in it that blends some old styles with some new styles and pays homage to the debut of a technology that would forever change sneakers. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First things first, the box. The Tailwind actually comes in a blue version of its original box. Now, I don't know about you guys, I'm a sucker for packaging. This wouldn't be an unboxing channel if we didn't take a look and appreciate all the packaging. So first things first, you have that world map there that has that Nike located right in Beaverton, Oregon. Right next to it, it says Nike sports shoes have become the preferred shoe of champion athletes all over the world. And like athletes, we always keep trying to improve our performance and we always will. And they always have. You can see here the different places that the swoosh had already touched around the world, even back in 1978. If this map were updated to today you probably have swooshes literally covering this entire map big white swoosh on the side of the box with the word swoosh nike ink fireman drive all of that of course is what we see even on nike boxes today now we pop the top on this box and the first thing that we get in here is actually a pair of socks stick a pin in these socks we'll get back to it in just a minute boom and there it is ladies and gentlemen this is the nike air tailwind 79 OG. Sneaker History 101 for you guys that don't know anything about this sneaker and how classic and amazing and iconic and whatever other words I can use to describe this sneaker. As Nike was really coming out with some new technology and some new sneaker models in 1978, actually Honolulu, Hawaii hosted a marathon, a runner's marathon, in which Nike debuted this sneaker right here, the Air Tailwind. Now the interesting thing about this sneaker was that it included that word Air. This, in fact, was the first iteration of Nike Air technology. Full-length Nike Air in the midsole of the shoe. It was a revolution at the time in technology when it came to footwear, and it actually provided superior comfort for the runners that were enduring those really long marathons. Nike looked to change the world with this technology, and the rest was history. Obviously, Nike Air is still here and is here to stay. This shoe is so old that Nike actually couldn't even take apart the original model because it's too rare and too precious. The one or two pairs that actually may be in existence out there probably are somewhere in a case of some sort, somewhere in Nike's archives or their museum or something, and it's probably all crumbled to pieces at this point, so they don't even want to touch it or the entire shoe would disintegrate. So they had to do their best with what they had just by seeing the shoe, knowing the technology that was in it, reading about it, looking at old runners catalogs and seeing how other runners were wearing the shoe, which is where the socks came in. A lot of the runners were wearing socks that matched their track suits and matched their shoes. So Nike decided to not only bring the shoe back, but to also bring back those classic 1979 socks that came with it as well. Not only that, but Nike also wanted to make sure that they got the closest to the original colors, the original materials that they possibly could find. Now this is called light photo blue and vast gray. Now starting with the lateral side of the shoe, all along the upper you have this nice vast gray upper. Now you have this tough leather that surrounds the heel, surrounds the eyelids, and of course surrounds the toe box of the shoe as well. I'm a sucker for the details and so looking at those nice clean stitch lines and that nice symmetry of the shoe, this is why they call this timeless. Of course you have that mesh netting for breathability that runs all along the lateral and medial side of the shoe with that nice 1979 Nike emblem right there on the back of the heel tab with that unfinished foam tongue. If you guys wonder where you've seen this before, we just took a look at a couple of off-white sneakers that also featured this exact same tongue. You'll notice that a lot of new designs of sneakers these days actually incorporate a lot of these old design elements from sneakers dating all the way back to the 70s. Of course, you have that nice white full-length air midsole with that classic Beaverton, Oregon zip code stamp on the bottom of the shoe. The insole of the shoe is just that classic white with that black Nike emblem on there. And on the inside collar of the shoe, you have that nice contrast with the navy blue that goes against that light photo blue. You know, I think the most amazing thing about this shoe is that this shoe was really ahead of its time. I guess what we're seeing right now is that a lot of sneakers are bringing back those classic design elements and are all about comfort that mixed with style. This shoe, if it came out today, even if it wasn't paying homage to the 1979 version of this shoe, 
honestly, I think a lot of people would still eat it up just because a lot of people are going back to this nice, classic, clean style of shoe. A lot of people would throw these on with some nice Nike tech fleece or a nice little sweatsuit, and they were going about their business, cozy gang for life. And it's kind of amazing that 40 years later, the fashion that was created back then, more so for functionality than fashion, actually has become fashion and functionality. So we're finding new ways to actually marry those two things in 2018 and I'm here for it. But that's about it. Let me know what you guys think about the Nike Air Tailwind 1979 OG. Is this a shoe that you would like to add to your collection? Is this something that you would run in? Is this something that you would just, you know, kind of wear around for your own comfort, kind of as a lifestyle shoe? That's probably how I'm gonna be rocking it. I think that there's a little better running technology out there these days than simply Nike Air. But the way that Nike put this shoe together made it kind of a one for one iteration of the OG from back in the day. I think they executed this sneaker very, very well. They paid attention to a lot of the details and they really didn't miss anything. But I wanna hear from you guys what you think of it as well. Style wise, you like the way that this looks. Would you rock these in 2018? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And while you're down in the comments, be sure to click on that subscribe button and click on that like button. Make sure you're not missing any more heat because I promise you guys, I got a lot more heat on the way. If you guys only knew what was sitting in this pile over here, you would want to subscribe. As always, I want to thank you guys for taking a couple of minutes, taking a look at these with me today. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Nike Air Tailwind 1979 OG. And until next time, I'm out.